girls, Kaylee here. Sorry to have been missing in action a little bit. I kind of got sick for a little while. I think you can hear it in my voice a little bit. I'm still kind of recovering, but I'm glad to be back with another tutorial. This one is a nice beachy, summery, half up, half down style. I always get requests for half up, half down style, so I'm glad to be doing one. This does go with a little bit of the wedding stuff that I was doing before I took my break, so it could kind of go for like if you're going to a wedding, or if you're a bridesmaid, or if you're just a really low-key kind of casual bride, you might like this too. So, hope you guys like this and hope you try it out. Tweet me or Facebook me if you do. I always love seeing that. And that's it. I will see you guys in my next tutorial with another really fun updo. Okay? Mwah! Bye! Start with your hair parted where you like it. I prefer mine on the side, but you can do any part with this hairstyle. And take a small section and you're going to go ahead and braid it backwards. Now, I did a waterfall braid. If that's a little tricky for you, you can do a normal braid or a French braid incorporating hair from the top. However you like. If you need a refresher course on waterfall braids, your first step is to braid in a piece from the top, then just braid normally once over. Drop the bottom section is step number three, and step number four is to pick up a new section. Now if that's not enough of a refresher course for you or you want to learn how to waterfall braid, I have a whole tutorial on it which I will link in the description box. So be sure to check that out as it is really detailed and it's a little bit more detailed than I can go into here. So whichever braid you choose, go ahead and take that back to the center of your head so that you've incorporated all the hair from the front to the center back of your head. Once you've gotten that done, go ahead and braid normally for a couple inches. You can either incorporate all your hair into that braid or you can just braid down about 8 inches like I did, depending on how much hair you have. And then go ahead and secure that with either a band or I did a bobby pin or you could use a clip. And then just go ahead and loosen it up to add to that kind of messy bohemian texture that we have going on with this hairstyle. And then you're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. You can literally do this with any braid that you want, so don't feel like you have to be stuck with this waterfall braid. You can even do it with the fishtail braid if you want, and that could look really cool if you wanted to give that a try. But basically, just do whatever is easiest for you and whatever you're going to feel most comfortable in. And once you've incorporated all that hair, go ahead and secure it off with a band or bobby pin or clip or whatever you're doing. And then we're going to work on the back once you've gotten that loosened up just a little bit. You're going to go ahead and tie what we have with those two braids in a half knot, just like so, and then go ahead and hold that half knot against your head and pin it into place, just like you would pin a braid against your head, um, as I showed kind of in my Bobby Pinning 101 video, which I will link in the down bar if you need that too. And then what we're going to do is arrange the rest of the braids. So you're going to take the braid from the right side and pull it across to the left so that it's lined up just underneath that knot, pin it in place. And then do the same thing with the other braid, taking it from left to right and pinning it up underneath that last braid that we just pinned into place. And that's it for that. And then you're going to go ahead and add some wavy texture to your hair. I think it's so much easier to curl your hair after you've braided it because if you curl it first, you can kind of mess up the curls a lot or they can be really sticky if you use a lot of products. So this is just easier. I'm using my Conair U Wrap and Wave. It's one of my favorites, and I'm just taking and curling random little sections however I see fit. You can use a normal curling iron and just wrap your hair on the outside of it, or if you want a more sleek appearance, you can use a clip curling iron as well, just depending on what you like. This is the final look. I hope you guys like it. It's perfect for any summer occasion, even if you're just hanging out with your friends, or if you have a little bit more of a formal party to go to. This could even help dress down a dress if it's really too formal for you. Here's some other styles to check out. These are very similar styles to what I did today, so if you like this video, you will like those videos. Hope you guys like this, and I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!